guys. It's Thursday the 28th of October and I am in South Dakota and I just uh, drove uh, a long ways I guess 13-1400 miles day and a half. Anyway just got here it's around noon time I'm gonna head out and see if I can find my friends and uh, as you can tell or maybe you can't tell let's see see if you can see the trees blowing up there behind me yeah it's about 25 mile an hour winds uh, gusting to 40 so uh, welcome to hunting on the plains <laughs> pretty normal so I'm gonna load these dogs up let's see who I got here today this is the uh, okay uh, blue hey boo <laughs> Ruby uh, cat a one-eyed bird well, before I head out the first time, I just wanted to get rid of some administrative stuff. And I noticed on some of my other uh, YouTube videos, I neglected this part. And that is when I'm out here, I hunt with a 20 gauge or a 28. Uh, right now I'm hunting with a 20. And I shoot uh, number six shot. And I really like those Prairie Storm sixes, three inch sixes. Um, a lot of range on them and they will kill pheasant and of course all the grouses uh sharp tail and the prairie chickens they'll kill all that easily and uh gives you a chance to reach out there and tap them so in fact i use sixes a lot from now on i'll probably use sixes uh for desert birds gambles and blues i use six six shot and you know i learned on a lot of these i used to use seven and a halfs and what i would do is break a lot of wings and on a pheasant, of course, you just lost your pheasant if you break a wing. I don't care how good your dog is, you're only going to find about half of them. Um, so, and, you know, even you know, experienced dogs, you may find a little bit more than that, but you ought to be finding 100% of them. So, I like to hit them when they're dead. I like to shoot them and then have them hit the ground dead. It takes care of all that kind of stuff, and especially blue quail and gamble quail, too. If you break a wing, they're going to run like crazy. They're going to go down a hole in a minute. I've seen them do it. And... Uh, they just go down in there and you can't get them so anyway i shoot a 20 gauge uh, six shot i shoot fairly open chokes because i'm shooting over pointing dogs and uh hopefully the dog has the bird pointed or i can get up there and know about where it is i'm not trying to bust them up at 40 50 yards that kind of thing so uh i, I shoot real pretty open chokes um uh, and you know that's about it i just shoot the fastest stuff i can find uh but i do like that prairie storm stuff i was going to stop by mitchell on the way up and see if they had some prairie storm which they did last year but i was kind of behind i wanted to go meet these guys and uh so i didn't stop there there's a there's a place here in this town where i can stop so and uh dakota mart man i tell you that's the place i got everything so anyway, I'll be heading out here very shortly, but I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way before I forgot. All right. It's a big country. I don't know if you can see that hill in the distance, but we're gonna go over the top of that. Chickens are usually on the other side and there's a cut corn over there and they love that, so. That's our plan. And as we know, no plan survives the first contact. So we'll see what happens here.
righty, got old Booper on the ground. Shaq and I uh, did pretty good on that last area. We got a couple birds up. They didn't get any shots. They flushed out too far. Cover so thin they can see you coming, so you really don't have much of a, a chance. Unless you find a couple stupid ones and they let you get close enough to shoot them. So that's what you're hoping. Uh, Blue's a young dog, new, and uh, looks like he got into some cactus. <laughs> what you got there, Boomer? I'm sorry, buddy. Come on, let's go. Yep. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Wind's picking up a little bit, which is good. And uh, we're going to find some birds out here. So I wanted to show this to you. On the other side of this tallish grass here, you can see it's real, real kind of flat out here with green mounds on it. This is Prairie Dog Town. And uh, it's huge. It goes from way over here all the way to over here. There's really no way around it without going on private land. I'm not going to do that. So we're going to turn around and head back. Uh, the problem with Prairie Dog Towns is they are snake magnets. Snakes love them because they get go down the hole and they got a meal down there waiting for them. And then they got protection. <laughs> so, yeah, Prairie Dog slash Rattlesnake Town. So we're going to stay out of that. It got hot. So there's old Blue and me working up a hill in a coulee. I was thinking for sure there'd be something down in here. But uh, it was not to be. Somebody's getting lucky out there. There's some shooting not far from here. There we go again. <laughs> well, good morning. This fine South Dakota morning. We're on our way out west, uh, about 50 miles west. I'm kind of driving along here now. and. I, was, I got to thinking about uh, the weather, and uh, right now it's 45 degrees and um, windy, which should not surprise anybody, and the uh, sun's just coming up. You can see it behind me as we head west. So, um, thinking about the weather, I looked at the uh, weather forecast, and all week it's going to be getting gradually colder until by Friday, this is Saturday today, by Friday, it's going to be 18 in the morning, and uh, you know, <laughs> I looked at the, I looked at the wind, and it, you know, the wind was only five miles an hour, and I said, oh, that's great, big deal. But 18 degrees and five miles an hour worth of wind, that's pretty, uh, pretty nippy on the wind chill. So that drops it quite a bit, even that small amount of wind when it's 18 degrees. So we've got some cold weather coming, and I take care of my dogs first, then my equipment, and then myself. So starting with the dogs. Uh, Cold and windy is not uh, an issue while they're working. And uh, when they're sleeping, uh, of course, I use a heater in the back and I keep it 50 degrees back there at night, no matter how cold it gets, because I want them to be able to recover and use their, their calories for recovery and not uh, just to stay warm. But they, uh, during the day, and, and that kind of weather when it's uh, dry, the cold it's no problem those guys are generating heat like a cook stove man they're just they're burning through the calories and you know that's why a good feed and a lot of it is important too so they can get those calories in their body and stay warm uh, my Brittany's are they've got a good coat on them now and uh, oh there's a oh, oh, careful careful whole herd of mule deer coming and uh, they're running alongside the road here hold on a minute one little buck but uh, anyway that was good I'm slamming on my brakes but my Brits can't uh, take cold and wet you know dog, some dogs can and if you've got a German wire hair or Griffon or a fuzzy dog like that they were built for it they just uh, cold and wet they just look at you and laugh and just say is this all you got but my Brits uh, cold and wet is a bad thing for them so you know when it's when it's really down it's 30 degrees and raining 
uh, we uh, I tend to make the hunts if we hunt I take the I tend to make the hunts very very short make sure I dry them off with a towel before I put them up and make sure they're warm and they can dry off uh, but just cold and, uh, and dry you know they're generating a lot of heat I don't put any coats on them I don't do any of that kind of stuff they can uh, they can take that easily enough I almost missed my turn here let me make this turn so then uh, the cold and wet's bad cold and dry is okay you don't need to take any special precautions if hunting in the snow uh, that could be an issue we're not gonna have any snow here I don't think this week but uh, hunting in the snow is important to check their pads make sure their pads uh, snow doesn't get caked up in there and you can run them with boots if you want like I said sometimes those fuzzy dogs they, they just kind of laugh at my little girly Brits because they, they, they they're built for that kind of weather they really are my uh, my Brits are not so I take care of their feet and make sure they're warm and comfortable at night and dry during the day and we don't have any issues uh, myself um, the sun's coming up I just turned to the south and I'm watching it over there but myself I make sure that I've got the uh, layers this is wool this sweater and it's lined I don't know if you can see that lined with vortex and um, then underneath I've got another uh, wool shirt underneath that a cotton shirt but I'll, I'll even throw on a shirt underneath that it's made as merino wool undershirt and I'm a big believer in natural products so uh, I love wool and uh, and I love cotton but uh, this, this type of weather wool's best so uh, I tell you there's one company and I'm I'm not really pitching them I buy a lot of their stuff I don't have any uh, I don't have any agreement with them at all but it's called Duckworth and it's made in Montana and uh, the sheep are made in are made in Montana the wool is made in Montana and all the clothing is manufactured in in the US and uh, they really put out some fine fine wool merino wool products and I'm getting it more and more of them I've got sweatshirts and undershirts and all kinds of stuff so but anyway wool's a big deal so anyway I, I do uh, hunt with that I make sure I've got an outer layer of something windproof and uh, one thing I hunt with up here that's kind of unusual not being a, uh, a northern kind of guy and it's uh, called a uh, gator. And let me see if I've got one here. I do. There it is right there. It's a gator. And you take it and put, slide it over your head like that. It goes like that. And it covers your neck and chin and mouth. This is the cat's meow for cold weather. That is the, that's the deal. That's the deal maker in cold weather is a gator. Something as simple as that. I knew it had to be that way because there's a store downtown that has a wall of nothing but gators on them for local hunters. So, well, I can't think of anything else as far as cold weather is concerned. Oh yeah, I do. When you um, when you get all these layers on you, be sure and uh, put your gun up to your shoulder a couple of times. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I learned the hard way. I'm toasty warm out there wandering around, and the bird gets up, and I bring the gun up, and it jams up on my shoulder I can't get it up to my shoulder and dog ate my homework it was the only excuse I had miss the bird so go ahead and throw that gun up to your shoulder a couple of times and make sure that that uh, you've got that muscle memory a little bit of muscle memory there to maybe you won't jam it up when you throw the gun up to, to shoot a bird so that's all I got right now what Ruby what what are you ready <laughs> almost 12 you're amazing looks like cap got an early start all right well it should come as no surprise to anybody that it's windy today but it's only uh 40 45 yeah i hear you 45 so this is a great spot well now you're all worn out that's great maybe we'll start hunting now knucklehead Hey guys, come on. Good boy, good boy, Cap. Good girl, Ruby Doo. It's like an old railroad bed right here. That's the boundary line. Between the walk in area, that's private land right there. Oh, 
it's good to have a map. Helps explaining why you're hunting where you're hunting. <laughs> One thing I learned about the prairie, I don't care where you are, somebody's watching. For example, there's a house on that ridge there. There's a house there. There's a house down the road too, but you can, we can't see that. But I guarantee you, somebody in one of those houses is watching. Especially if this is their land, and I think that's perfectly okay. Absolutely okay. Yeah, that's not good. I dropped my lid. There you go, sweetie. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go. Oh, darn. Give me a bitch today, okay? Oh. Ah! Ruby! Hey. Hey. Come here. Come on. Hey, whoa. He's pointing you back, okay? Whoa. Cap's working a bird right here. Sorry you can't hear me because of the wind noise. Easy boy. See his tail moving? That means he's not positive. But it's likely. <laughs> or the birds are a long ways away. Oh. Easy boy. Easy. Oh. That's good. Oh. Okay. It's produced a few pheasant over the years, but also this is a real good prairie chicken area. That's all that's left over here. We're gonna or right. There's my gentle giant. Good boy, Shaq. Good boy. Good boy, buddy.
Okay. Okay, buddy, look in here. Siesta in the prairie. Actually, it's about noon. We're moving around um, South Dakota. I'm about 100 miles from where I, uh, I'm staying. And uh, I am, uh, man, this place is holding the earth together up here. Ooh. But anyway, there's a good looking field right there, walking area. And we are, I'm gonna head out here with blue. Uh, it's a little colder today, but the wind is, a little bit less, although I'm sure you can hear it on the camera. So, old Booper's do his turn. <laughs> we'll see what he can find. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Think we're gonna have a good time.
was a total bust. I drove about 120 miles up in a different uh, northwest of where I am, and the guy says, go on up there, a lot of birds. Well, <laughs> I don't know why I did it, but I did it. So yesterday, and uh, I hunted blue, and he got real birdie and pointed a couple of times, but uh, we ended up getting one sharp tail up, and it actually came up on its own uh, behind us. And we hunted that area like crazy. And he, like I said, he was real birdie. And I don't know if you can tell that from the videos, but it was fun to watch him. And he's a good young dog coming along, but but we didn't produce a thing. So we're back here in town and uh, we're heading back out to places I know. And we're going to start some different, uh, go to some different areas, but um, but not my usual haunts. But uh, we're going to see if we can find some different areas. So anyway, beautiful day today, 21 degrees. <laughs> and uh, a little bit of breeze and uh, it just made it, it just made it perfect. Come on, bird. Come on, buddy. Be easy, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for the day. Uh, we gave him a good shot, but you know, I said I missed that bird, but it was a long ways out. <laughs> nah, I should have had it. But uh, I'm changing my chokes to modified for tomorrow. <laughs> Those birds are getting up so far away. Um, look at this day. Look at this. I'm going to turn this around. Look. This place is beautiful. This country is gorgeous. Unbelievably pretty. I love it. And this time of day, after walking, oh, I don't know, I did 25,000 steps, whatever that is. That's a lot. Especially for an old man. I love this time of day close to witching hour you can sit out here if you want to and sit on a hill and watch those prairie chickens fly out of the cornfields out of the wheat fields into the uh, grass if you want to because that's where they're roosting and then you can go there first thing in the morning and find them 
I'm not that motivated to sit out here on a hill in a chair in the wind at 37 degrees and uh, and do that. But if I did, I'd be a lot more successful. Let me get rid of these. There we go. My wife picked those off for me, and I'm not sure they look great. So, uh, oh, one other thing I talked to you about clothing, this hat. This is a wool watch cap, and it also is made by Duckworth. It's merino wool, and uh, these things are awesome. And I look like a serious old man sailor. So, get look up Duckworth on the uh, on the internet, and these guys are awesome. By the way, they're not one of my sponsors. I would love to have them for a sponsor, but they're not. They just make good products. So tomorrow, we're going to try a different spot. Thanks. Retrieve this to me. Good boy, boo. Good boy, boo. Yeah, you're a good boy. Nice. Somebody's been duck hunting up here, haven't they? Get it right. Get it right. You're a good boy. Okay. Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no. You can't eat it. Come here, come here, come here. Give good boy. Well, it's not a grouse, but it'll do. Good boy, Shaq. Ah. Come here, buddy. Good boy, come here, bud. Come here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Dang, that's beautiful. Good job, Shacker. Wow. See the spurs on this one. That's this year's bird. Good boy, Shacker. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. I think you're going to be in this ditch. Good boy, let's go. Good boy, Shaq. Feel good, Ruby Doo. That feel good. <laughs> oh, I love these ponds. Beautiful picture there, guys.
beautiful day out here today. Mm. Yeah, it's the last day, but uh, hobbling a little bit. My right knee swollen up. I like to say it was from fighting off a pack of wolves or being chased by a grizzly and falling off the mountaintop. But in fact, it's because I'm beginning to feel my age and I was just walking. That's pretty disgusting. So the other thing that happened that happens on these trips is I came out this morning and Blue had crapped in his kennel and uh, I hate to see that, but not for the mess or anything, just for him. I mean, he doesn't want to do that. No dog wants to do that. And when they do it, it messes them up a little bit. Anyway, that's what you don't want to smell at seven o'clock in the morning when it's dark outside and he haven't had breakfast yet. Well, we got that cleaned up though. That was actually pretty easy. Put him back in there, all comfy, warm and toasty. Got that taken care of and came out here to hunt. And it's a beautiful place. I'm actually standing on top of a hill. That's a mountain. It's a hill. And I think you can see the truck down there. Uh, corn beyond that. I heard some shooting. We did corner a pheasant, like I said before. I mean, Cap did. He's out right now. But, uh, you know, I was pretty aware of what time it was. I knew it was before 10 o'clock, so I didn't. I didn't drop him. He's a big old boy, too. He was madder than a wet hen when he took off cackling. Probably said some real Navy stuff. But this is going to be a wrap for us, probably. If I find anything in these next two casts, I'll uh, be sure and record it. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching.